Good day students! Welcome to module number 4. In this video, you will learn how to solve problems involving sets with the use of Venn diagrams. But before we start, use the Venn diagram below to answer the questions that follow. Choose the letter of the correct answer. The Venn diagram below shows the result of the students' responses on their internet connection. How many students have both mobile data and broadband or DSL connections? A4, B7, C9, D30 The answer is A, 4. Next, how many students have mobile data but not broadband or DSL connections? A, 13, B, 30, C, 34, D, 50. The correct answer is B. 30. Using the same Venn diagram. How many students have neither mobile data nor broadband or DSL connections? A4, B7, C13, D34. The correct answer is B7. Let's proceed to question number 4. How many students have either mobile data or broadband or DSL connections? A11, B34, C43, B50. The answer is C. 43. Good job! Last question. How many students were surveyed? A. 11 B. 34 C. 43 B. 50 The correct answer is B. 50 Analyze the given operations of sets, then identify its corresponding Venn diagram on the choices below. Write only the letter of your answer on the space provided. Number 1. A. Union B. Number 2. A. Intersect B. Number 3, B only. Number 4, the union of the complement of A and the complement of B. Number 5, the intersection of the complement of A and the complement of B. Let's have our lesson for today. 58 students in a class were asked about the kind of learning tools available in their homes for the new normal in education. The results were as follows. 49 students have cellular phones, 10 students have laptops, and 7 students have both cellular phones and laptops. So we represent them using a Venn diagram. We will draw a rectangle, one circle for the set of cellular phones, and one circle to represent for the laptop users. First, write the value in the overlap, which is 7, the number of students that has both cellular phones and laptops. Next. 
write the number of students in the circle that has laptops minus the number of students that has both cellular phones and laptops. So that is 10 minus 7. The result will be the number of students with laptops only. That is 3. Do the same thing with the cellular phone. 49, the number of students in the circle that has cellular phones minus the number of students that has both cellular phones and laptops. So 49 minus 7 is 42. The number of students with cellular phones only. Since 42 plus 7 plus 3 is equal to 52, have either the cellular phones or the laptops, subtract this 52 from the total number of students which is 58. Therefore, there are 6 students who have neither the cell phones nor the laptops. So we write it inside the box outside the two circles. That is 6. How many students have cellular phones only? The answer is 42. How many students have laptops only? The answer is 3. If you were asked how many students have neither the cellular phones nor the laptops, the answer is 6. How many students have either the cellular phones or the laptops? The answer is 52. Do you follow? Let's have a complex one. Hundred twenty students were surveyed on the possible problems if online learning will be implemented as the modality of teaching and the responses were the following. 81 students lack gadgets. 123 students have no internet source or connection. 77 students have inability on independent learning. 21 students both lack gadgets and no internet source or connection. 30 students both have no internet source or connection and inability on independent learning. 22 students both lack gadgets and inability on independent learning. And 12 students have all the three problems. So let us represent set A as lack of gadgets, set B for those students who have no internet source or connection, C for inability on independent learning. Using the Venn diagram, we draw set A, we draw set B, and we draw set C. Just like what we did a while ago, we will start from the middle. We will write 12 for those students who have the three problems. So 12. And then, write the value in the circle that has both lack of gadgets and no internet source or connection, which is 21. We write the value in the circle that has both no internet connection and inability on independent learning. So 30 minus 12 is equal to 18.
27 minus 10 minus 12 minus 18 is equal to 37. So we already completed all the values in our sets A, B, and C. How many students? Ten is equal to 22 students. Let's have a wrap up. Always remember that in solving word problems involving sets, first, you have to read and analyze the problem carefully. Identify the number of sets being considered and look for word clues that will serve as guide in the construction of a Venn diagram. When analyzing and solving problems about sets, you need to remember the meaning of the words that are being used. In word problems involving sets, end means intersection, or means union, either or also means union, while neither nor means the complement of the two given sets. Problem solving helps us to become analytical and critical thinkers not only in mathematics but also in real life situation. As you enter the teenage chapter of your life, it is unavoidable to encounter a lot of challenges along the way. In a form of art or writing, express your thoughts or insights on how you face your problems. Activity 1, let's practice. Complete the data of the Venn diagram based on the given word problem. Activity 2, keep practicing. Analyze the given word problem. Make a Venn diagram that can satisfy the given word problem on a piece of paper. Answer the questions that follow.
hope you learned something today. Goodbye and God bless us all.